guys and welcome to Debbie's Rusty Brush. Tonight we're going to do a painting of an angel and we're going to do this on a six by six um, at, by one half, one and a half inch wrapped canvas and it's going to be in neutral tones and it'll be a faceless angel and so this is what we're painting this evening and I hope that you guys like it. If you do like my videos, please subscribe, like, and share with your friends. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you always get notified when I upload a new video. All right, so without further ado, let's get started painting. Okay, so what I'm using is DIY clay-based paint. And I'm starting with French millinery, and I am just making sure that I get the entire canvas covered um, and even on the sides all the way around. Alright, and now I just want to add some lighter areas, so I'm taking some sandy blonde and just brushing a little bit in and blending it on the canvas with the French millinery. And now I'm doing the same thing with some petticoat pink. And now I've just got some folk art gold and I'm going to place that around the canvas in different areas using a palette knife. And then I'm adding in some apothecary green. I just felt that it was missing something and I wanted to give it a little bit different uh, depth and look to the background. Um, they kind of ended up looking a little bit more like uh, it was a cloudy background and I liked that. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in with a little bit more of the petticoat pink. And just play with it until you're happy with the results and what it looks like. Because we want to have the back fully done before we add our angel in. So here I'm adding just a little bit more of the gold here and there um, and blending it in some areas. Just doing the finishing touches on this background. Okay, and so I'm going to start with the face and shoulders of the angel, and so I'm just mixing um, some petticoat pink and a little bit of sandy blonde together and a little bit of white and um, getting a flesh tone to get started. And so we're just going to put in the shape of a head and shoulders, and that will give us a good place to start from.
Okay, so now I'm taking the palette knife and um, some white swan, and I'm just putting in the top part of our angel's dress, and and then we'll move on to the bottom part. Uh, this will be an underlayer for the dress, and it just gets it laid in there uh, where we want it. It's important to remember that um, you can change the shape of the dress after you get going. Um, so if you're not sure if you want it to poof out at the bottom, go ahead and do just the straight part um, because you can always add that poof later. Now we're going to go ahead and put the wings on and I'm just using the palette knife to do that. I like the freedom that the palette knife gives and... Um, both sides will be similar but not the same because of the freedom that that knife gives. Now that the base is done, I'm going to take some petticoat pink and add in um, some on the skirt of this dress. Now as you can see, I did go through and add a waistline onto this dress and you will notice that later in the painting I do take that out. Um, I decided that I didn't like the way that it cut the angel off and so you can try different things and then change it after you get going. Alright, and so now we're just going to put a second coat onto the neck and the face area of our angel and make sure that we've got really good coverage. Okay, and then we are extending our arms down. Um, they're going to be behind our angel's back. And so we just want to extend that down so that they naturally fall behind the angel's waist. And we will also go through and add a little bit of a brown to our flesh mixture. And then that will allow us to uh, give in a little bit of detail with an outline and just a variation of color. It will also go through and um, make sure that there's a delineation between the neck and the chin and a little bit of shadow underneath the chin itself. So just play with this back and forth between the lighter flesh tone and the little bit darker flesh tone that you made. And just play with it until you get the look that you are desiring. Now I'm putting a second coat on our dress just to get some full coverage um, through the bodice area here. It was still showing quite a bit of the background, and so after letting it dry a little bit, we're just getting some better coverage in that area. Okay, it's time to add some hair, and with this angel, I'm going to start with a base of um, layered chocolate. We're going to be adding some different colors on top. We'll be adding basically um, uh, cake batter on to give some highlights. And we'll do back and forth between the brown and the cake batter. And as you can see, my wings were not completely dry, so I'm pulling in a little bit of that white. And all of that just gives depth and character into the hair. So you just go back and forth until you get 
the texture and the consistency that you want to see in her hair. Now you will notice that her hair covered up the straps on her dress. Um, however, I did go ahead and put the straps in. And I did that just so that I could figure out the proportions and how exactly I wanted the dress to lay um, on the shoulders and the neckline. Um, and so even though I knew I was going to be covering it up, I went ahead and put that in there because it helps me visualize. Okay, and you see me talking with my hands there because the majority of this I did live over on my uh, Facebook page. And so um, this is a live video that I've edited and sped up um, for YouTube. Now I'm going to go through and add in some um, kissing booth and I'm mixing that with petticoat pink to lighten it up just a little bit. And I'm just putting that in because I felt that it just needed a little bit of, of color in there. Um, and as you can tell, I'm still working with the waistline of the skirt. And I haven't decided to change that yet, but I will shortly because it just, um, as you can see, makes her look cut off. And so I wanted the dress to be a little more flowy. So I will play back and forth between the kissing booth, the petticoat pink, white, and just play back and forth and get it to um, my desired look. Important to remember that there is no right and wrong. Um, this is your painting, so you do what makes you happy with the colors that make you happy. Um, now I'm going in with a little bit of that gold paint on the wings um, to add some low light in there. And then I will go back over with some white. Um, and there again, just until I'm pleased with the look that it has um, and what I'm going for. Now I did get a spot up above where I had a little bit of brown so I'm just adding in a little petticoat pink and smudging it with my fingers and that is um, covering that area so that you never know that I made that little boo-boo. Now I'm going in with some more white and some petticoat pink. Um, I'm taking out that waistline. I'm pulling down some of that white into the skirt area as you can see and I like that much better. It just flows and so I'm going to add in a little petticoat pink and bring that up into the bodice to make that look like it is one flowy piece. Okay and that is our angel. So if you like these videos please give me a thumbs up, hit that little bell so that you get notified and share with your friends. I appreciate you spending some time with me and you guys have a great week.